Okay guys, this is Ross with Hamel Brothers Studios and I am going to make a quick tutorial here on how to use alpha mats. So if you've asked us to do some motion design on a logo or create an animation and you want transparency, what we're going to do is send you your regular logo and then we'll send you an alpha mat. So an alpha mat what that does is it tells the program what to do with the transparency. So the three programs I'm going to be working with today are Premiere, After Effects, and DaVinci Resolve. And unfortunately, uh, I'm not on a Mac, so I don't have Final Cut. I couldn't tell you how to do this, but I'm sure you could dig it up on YouTube somewhere. Um, as you can see, I am on a Windows platform here. So what I'm going to start off with is After Effects. I'm going to show you how to do this. So first thing we'll do is we'll just drag our master down into the create a new comp button right there and another thing we will always do is send you one that's uh, you know you'll have a master copy that has your background and then we will send you an alpha version and that will be tagged alpha as you see there so we've got our basic motion design here and that's all great and wonderful but you want to create a transparency. So if I toggle this switch right here on and off with the, within After Effects, you can see that there's no transparency. So that's where the alpha mat comes in. So we'll draw, drop, sorry, we will drag the alpha mat in on top. And as you can see, it looks kind of ugly, but it's an alpha mat, who cares? So what we gotta do is on your keyboard you will hit F4 and it changes this right here so you see you've got certain controls over here but when we hit F4 it changes our interface so what we're gonna do here is you can see there is a track mat column and what this does is it tells this layer how to use the layer above it as a track mat so what we're gonna do in this instance is we're going to use this as a luma mat and what this does is it tells this layer to use the luminance of the layer above it for its transparency map so we'll go ahead and select this and boom all you gotta do is that and it's pretty simple um, hold on let me get scale back out here and so now you can see that we actually have the transparency of the whole animation here and toggle this on and off you can see that we've got the transparency so uh, if you wanted you could actually create a new solid you know let's just say we want it to be red for example purposes drop that down to the bottom and now you see that you have a red background and your transparency hasn't changed the logo at all but it is transparent like you wanted it so that is how you do this in After Effects okay so now I've moved into Premiere Pro I'm working uh, right now in CS 5.5 but all these concepts are the same through the newer versions of After Effects and Premiere so anyway since we've got a uh, We've got a logo that we want to have transparency with. You're going to want a background. So uh, we're going to start off with our main logo. And right now I'm actually going to scale this down because I think this logo, yeah, this logo is done in 4K. And so we don't really want that to uh, look funky for the sake of our tutorial. So I've got the main logo and then I've got the alpha mat. I'm also going to scale this down and this is really just, that's just an extra step that doesn't matter for what we're doing here but what we've got here is our primary logo and then we've got our alpha mat so let me zoom in on that so as you can see our uh, logo is animated and it's showing the alpha mat so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the alpha mat layer using this eyeball right here and that is your track output. So 
the next thing I'm going to do is come over here to my effects bin and I'm going to go into channel and then an effect called set matte and I'm going to apply that to my logo channel so as you can see it doesn't do anything but we haven't told it what to do yet so we're gonna go right here um, up in our set matte settings and we're gonna select luminance because this is a luma matte and we're gonna set our take matte from to the track number that our luma mats on so as we have right here it's track three so we're gonna set that to track three <coughs> And now we have our transparency. So you can't toggle transparency on and off in Premiere, at least uh, CS 5.5. You might be able to in the different, in the newer versions, CS6 and Creative Cloud. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to drag in a motion background here. And as you can see, we've got our transparency. It's pretty simple. So um, all it is is your set matte and set lumina use the track mat for luminance and you got to set the video track that the mat's coming from so pretty simple on this so um yeah that's how you do it in premiere so now the last one i'm going to do is davinci resolve and so i've got my my media folder selected up here already and it's a little bit of a different uh a little bit of a different formula, formula or workflow for doing this in, in Resolve. So this is actually the full version of Resolve. It's the paid for version, but the concept and the workflow is the exact same in the light version if you have the free light version of Resolve. So what we're gonna start off with is our main, right here it's master, and we're gonna drop that into our media pool. And then we're gonna select our alpha mat and we're going to add as matte since we're going to be actually using this as a luminance matte. <clears throat> so we've got that. I'm going to go in here and just create a timeline from this. We're just going to create timeline using selected clips. I'm just going to leave that the same because it doesn't really matter for our purposes. So we've got our timeline here. And now I'm going to go into my color room and we've got our first node and where this gets a little hairy is we're going to, it, right now we don't have the mat selected. So, and I apologize for the low resolution of this, but since this is a single screen, this is going to be the easiest way to do it. So I'm going to right click on my node and go down to add mat and underneath that we have track mats. And anything you've selected as a track mat or you've added as a mat in your media pool is going to show up under this track mats option. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And as you can see, this doesn't do anything when we add that. So what we've got to do, um, you can see right here that the gray area, that is a transparent area. However, we need to add um, we've got to tell Resolve that we want the transparent area to actually output as transparent. So I'm going to right click down here in this gray area and I'm going to add an alpha output. And from there, this is our alpha channel. I'm going to drag that onto my alpha output. And as you can see, it's removed that background. So if we toggle, if we toggle this on, well, it's actually not doing anything. But if we take and delete that, you can see the background is back there again. So we just drag that to the alpha output and the background is gone. And you can go into your qualifier and just uh, use this highlight button and that will show you what's being output as transparent. So we can take, if we want to, we can go into our edit tab open up a toolbox and generate let's just say a color bar here and move this up to a different level and again I am only doing this for uh, example purposes but now you can see that 
the color bar is our background. We go into our color tab and you can see again that the color bar has been added behind our transparent logo. So turn that off and you can see that it has been added as an alpha over whatever it is. Now there are other ways to do this in Resolve. If you have uh, if you have a clip that's been output and pre-multiplied, it works sometimes, but a lot of time, let's this shadow area, if we had outputted this with an with an alpha channel instead of doing an alpha mat, the shadow area would probably be solid black and it wouldn't fall off. It, it would just look really terrible. So um, this is the most efficient way to do it in Resolve and really any other program you're using. So like I said, I don't do Final Cut, but I'm sure there's a way to add mats within Final Cut using some kind of effect or uh, some kind of layer or track setting. So anyway, this has been Ross Hamill with Hamill Brothers Studios. I do want to make a note that if you have hired us to do uh, a motion graphic for you, that anytime we output an alpha channel, it will always be tagged with alpha at the end, so there's no mistake. So I hope you found this useful, and thank you for taking the time and putting up with me stumbling over myself, and... I will be back sometime with something new at some point. Enjoy.